Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Nate here with Nate's Tech Update. And just a couple of hours ago, Apple released iOS 5 Beta 2 to developers, and currently I have it running on my iPhone 4. So over the next couple of days, I hope to be demoing some of these new features in this beta for you, but the main one that I'm going to be showing you guys today is Wi-Fi Sync. This is going to be a really great new feature because now you can finally cut the cord between your iDevice and your computer. So in order to actually get Wi-Fi Sync running on your device, you're actually going to need to pair it with your computer one last time. So let's go ahead and do that now. As you can see here, I currently have my iPhone plugged into iTunes running iOS 5. And all you need to do in order to enable Wi-Fi Sync is simply head down to the Options area here and simply choose Sync over Wi-Fi and then click on Apply. And that's all there is to it. Now let's head back to the iPhone. So now that we've paired my device with iTunes, we can go ahead and disconnect the cord, hopefully for the last time ever. So now I'm going to go ahead and press the Sync Now button and we'll see how long it takes for it to appear on iTunes. So as you can see, it's starting to sync already. Uh, we'll just wait for this process to complete. Um, I don't really have anything on my device as of right now, but it'll just back everything up for me. As you can see, it's done with the uh, actual sync, so let's go ahead and add some stuff to my device now. So now that I've showed you that feature, I'm going to try dragging some songs from my music library onto my iPhone over Wi-Fi. So as you can see here, I have my music library open. I'm going to go ahead and select these tracks here and simply drag them over my iPhone. And as you can see here, the sync is already beginning on my device, and it's starting to transfer these songs from my iTunes library to my device. What's great about this now is that this can actually take place in the background, so if I wanted to, I can use any of my other apps while this is all going on. Additionally, you'll notice this little icon up here, it's like a little spinny circle. It might be kind of hard to see through this camera, I apologize, but it looks very familiar to the uh, Wi-Fi sync app that many of you jailbreakers out there used. So let's go ahead and check on the progress. As you can see here, it's pretty close to being done. And it looks like it is just about completed. So now let's go ahead and actually open up the music app to see if those tracks were indeed transferred to my library. And as you can see, there they are. So this has been an inside look at the Wi-Fi Sync feature found in iOS 5 Beta 2. I hope to demo some more of these new features for you in the upcoming days. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think about Wi-Fi Sync. Please like the video and subscribe, and as always, have a nice day.